Hey everyone, it's me, Wendy. May is coming up really soon, so today I have a bullet journal plan with me to get us ready for May. If you wanna see how I typically do my months, April was actually a really good example, and I say this because for May, I am trying out a couple of new things. For those of you that may be new here in my bullet journal videos, I tend to stick to a very productivity-focused style. It's all about tracking and staying motivated, and there's not a lot of doodles because I just need to get straight to the work. Of all my bullet journal videos, one of my most popular is how I started bullet journaling. So there's a link in the description if you want to watch that after this. And before anyone asks, my bullet journal supplies are also in the description. Let's quickly flip through April and then I'll get right into May. April had my typical daily goal tracker and productivity line graph. And on the right side of the page is where I write a short summary of every single day. I did successfully complete all of my video goals in April, so I was really, really happy about that. There was even a tutorial I made that didn't go up on my channel, but went up on someone else's channel. If you wanna see me make a really easy swan trinket dish, I created this tutorial for CBC Life since I have a whole home decor series with them and there's a link in the description if you want to check that out. It was very easy and I was extremely happy with how it turned out. Uh, so it was a good month. Flipping through, you will see that I occasionally set aside whole chunks of space for brainstorming, and then each day I use a different color to make it really easy to separate them visually. Within each of those days, it tends to be a combination of a to-do list, a timeline, and if I'm in the mood, a journal. Those are the three things that swap around. Now the fun thing in April was that I wanted to up my calligraphy game. All this time scrolling through Instagram has got me inspired. So I did start experimenting with some big, cursive days of the week. I just watched Instagram videos to get a sense of which way the strokes are supposed to go. And even though there were a few rough days, I feel like I got the hang of it. Certainly you get a lot of practice writing the word day because it's at the end of every single day of the week. I'm pretty happy with how this looked. I'm gonna keep it going for May. So let's get into May. It's gonna be May. Okay, my May is broken down into a few chunks. And the reason for that is because I'm traveling. To keep track of the chunks, I'm putting a calendar in the corner. I still have plenty of goals that I want to track, so I'm putting these right beside the calendar. And these dots are for each day I aim to do that goal, because you can't, you can't live your life trying to hit every single goal every single day. As an example, when I complete that goal, I'm going to circle around it. I thought this would look nice, I found it on Instagram. And depending on which days are on that page, that's the number of days I'll highlight in the little calendar. In this first chunk, I will not have begun traveling yet, so I'll stick to my typical thing of putting a small date, writing a cursive day of the week, getting that practice. And below that is where I'm gonna put all my daily plans before I go. I'm not totally doodle free in this travel theme. I decided to throw in a dotted line and a paper plane. Oh, and I guess I haven't said where I'm traveling to yet. It is Asia. I'm very, very excited. Specifically three countries in Asia. I'm gonna make this page the kind of like overarching page of the trip. I really like to be mindful and present whenever I'm traveling because it can be a bit hectic going back and forth but it's nice to really take time to soak it all in. So this is a section where I write a few daily goals. Last year when I was in China, I tried to learn a new Chinese word every single day. I really liked that goal. So I'm going to continue it even into countries where I don't speak the mother language, hoping for the best. I am also seeing some relatives that I rarely get to visit. So I like making the goal of giving them a hug. Might seem a bit strange, but family can always be a bit hectic. I don't get to see them very often. And so sometimes I forget to actually show them that I love them. Next up is my shopping list, so I don't forget to keep looking for the things that I wanna buy while I'm traveling. Many, many small things as you can see. And then beside that is some filming notes so that I can keep track of what I've shot while I'm on my trip. Flipping it over, the first stop in Asia will be after I finish this calendar. It's Japan! Nihon! Ugh, that wasn't very confident. So it's my first time ever we're going to be staying in Tokyo and Kyoto. I'll leave the rest of this blank. We're gonna go right to the next stop. It's gonna be China, Zhongguo, the motherland. Dan is gonna get to meet my whole extended family. I'm like excited and I feel bad for him and I feel happy for him all at the same time, but I definitely look forward to it. And our final country in our Asia trip is going to be South Korea. Dehanmin Kuk. 
I have some friends that I'm going to visit there. We're likely gonna stick to Seoul, um, but who knows. I will leave a full spread for each because you gotta leave room for collecting memories. And I actually don't like to break down specific days since I wanna keep my bullet journal flexible, but each day there are actually things that I wanna track. So I'm putting them on a sticky to keep them migrating as I go. If you haven't realized by now, I think I'm kind of addicted to tracking things. Each day, I want to write down the location that I was at. What is it? A new word, my steps count, and something tasty that I ate. Mm. As well, I want to write down what I reflected on in my quiet time and a special memory from the day. Is this ambitious? I guess we'll find out. That's pretty much how I'm setting up May. This was not all when it comes to my bullet journal videos. There's plenty more in the description for you to check out. In the travel theme, last year I did have a road trip that I showed how I tracked my bullet journal. The format was completely different, so if you want to see how that was done, it's over there. And since I will be traveling in May, if my uploading is a little bit light, please forgive me. Come find me on Instagram under at with Wendy and if you sew any of my projects while I'm away, please do use hashtag made with Wendy so I can find it on Instagram. If by this point you have subscribed, then I'll see you next time. Bye bye My videos are made possible by my Patreon supporters. If you want to support me on Patreon, go to patreon.com slash with Wendy. Come on over.